Buenos nachos, or nachos buenos, and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be working on this PlayStation 3 board. The issue that the customer has with it, which we've already confirmed, is that it has no HDMI output. However, the interesting thing with the console, it displays video output through the multi-out. So no problem displaying picture through this. So what could it be? Well, let's take a look. So this particular board has a silicon image, HDMI encoder processor, and that goes directly to the HDMI port. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna check this fuse and make sure it's good. So it is showing, it is showing as good. So let's see if these diodes are good. Doesn't look like we have any shorts at the moment. Ah, the diode is indeed shorted, but none of the others are. And I'm pretty sure that's not normal. Now is the short caused by this perhaps? Well, let's go ahead and look at the back of the board. So right here is where the HDMI processor resides. It's indeed shorted by the amount that we see with the diode. So it's pretty safe to say we're gonna have to replace the silicon image. So let's head on over to the rework machine. All right, we're gonna place the board in here and we will choose the most optimum orientation. All right, and this looks like this will work. Once we remove the silicon image chip, We'll go ahead and confirm that the shorts are no longer present. All right, we're just about at temperature. We're gonna get ready to lift that silicon image chip. And there we have it, back to the table. All right, now that we have that silicon image removed, let's go ahead and verify that the shorts are no longer present. Let's go ahead and take a look at the diode that was shorted previously. And right as I was about to use it, the meter decides to die and go to sleep. It's very inconvenient. The board is still a little toasty, but that's fine. Looks like our short is no longer present. How about where the silicon image resides in the back? We were getting about 22 ohms, which was very close to the 17 ohms that we were seeing on that diode. We are still shorted here, but that could be normal. We are still seeing shorts back here. However, we're not seeing a short on that diode in the front. I think it's safe to say that we can install our replacement silicon image as the diode is no longer shorted. But before we can do that, we have to clean up all the old solder. Uh, so I did just finish putting some flux on there. And of course, I'm not gonna be using our trusty spatula tip this time. We're just gonna use our standard T15 D24, right? So T15 D24. That is correct. I'll go ahead and add some leaded solder just to make my life a little bit easier with this. Because we all know Sony used the ROHS compliant solder. When you do this, you're just pretty much floating on top I'm not really applying any pressure. And that looks clean enough to me. Let's go ahead and remove this spent flux. Use our trusty Kimtech wipes. That's looking pretty good. I think it's time to head back to the rework machine. Let's go ahead and add our Steri Flux. Now you're not really gonna see too much just because I have a horrible camera angle here. You denote the orientation of the chip by using that little circle right here at the top. And of course the circle is on the top over here, upper left. And I find that the chip usually locks into place no problem. All right. And we're ready to begin the process again. This will take a couple of minutes and then the chip will be reattached. Once this is finished, we'll take it back to the bench and make sure that diode is not shorted. We've reattached the chip. Let's go ahead and see what that diode is doing. So I believe the culprit was right over here. Okay. Looks like we're no longer shorted. All right, looks like we're good to throw this back into the console. We'll go ahead and see how it goes. And there we have it. We have a fully there functional console now, no longer outputting only via the multi-out. We actually have HDMI functioning. It's amazing how just a tiny little chip will cause you so many problems. 
Anyway, if you found this video helpful or useful, please remember to leave us a like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Until next time.